Rotten Ruin is, is a, a post-apocalyptic zombie novel. It's set 14 years after a plague that makes the dead rise and humanity falls. Kind of like if you imagine Night of the Living Dead then go 14 years later. It's all about growing up in the apocalypse where death is the most common thing you hear about. Everything is about death. But the, the teenagers, they don't want that to be their future. They, they don't want to uh, think that the world has ended. They think that they actually have a future and they want a future. So they're not looking at this as the end of the world, they're looking at it as the beginning of theirs. So it's their story of, of four teenagers who are trying to move out of the, the, the end of the world into a new world. People ask me uh, this one question all the time. They say, why do you write about monsters? I don't write about monsters. I write about the people who fight monsters. When I read Dracula, I wasn't rooting for Dracula. I was rooting for Van Helsing, the guy who pitted himself against the supernatural and defeated it. And I've always loved the story in which you had an, an intelligent, thinking hero or heroine up against you know, something big and bad. So I write about the people who fight monsters. I've always liked the stories in which somebody's pitted, up, pitted against something you know, in, incredibly beyond their abilities, the, you know, something huge. Um, the end of the world puts you in a situation, you, know, you become this character who's surviving, the reader becomes the character that's surviving, and it's all about the wits and intelligence and uh, innovation that, that allow you to get through every minute. And uh, I also had the opportunity as a kid, as a teenager, to meet Richard Matheson, who wrote I Am Legend, one of the, the all-time great you know, uh, end of the world novels. And, he told me a lot about the storytelling potential of that, of dystopian and apocalyptic fiction and gave me a signed copy of his 1954 book, I Am Legend. So that, that started me in that direction. Probably every single person who has, who has read uh, Rotten Ruin has asked me if, if this surprised me. Partly because it's, it's a YA and, you know, yeah, but partly because it, it isn't what I thought it was going to be and, and I think people get that. I sat down to write kind of a gritty, violent zombie novel and along the way it turned into um, a coming of age story that has a lot of heart. I was actually in tears a couple times writing it. So yeah, that, that, that really surprised me that it had that much emotional content and I think that's what, what people are really relating to. And yes, there are, there are zombies and there's violence, but it isn't the point of the story.